one of the most painful things that's happened for me in the last, I'd say, nine months, but also absolutely one of the richest in my own practice, as someone who'd been exposed to teachings around letting go, I'd listened to James for years, went in one ear and out the other, you know, <laughs> letting go, letting go, sh miggity gosh, letting go, you know. Finally, I realized, you know, acceptance. I was in a situation, again, I'll be a little vague, uh, in my extended family, in which I was trying to repair with this particular person in my extended family, uh, kind of clean up some messes and fix things, et cetera, et cetera. I'm a really good fixer. And <laughs> this person was having none of it. This person blocked my efforts at repair, was not willing. And you can't repair with someone who's just not willing to repair. You can tend to the causes. You can try to repair. You can be skillful about repair. You can be humble and real and honest and straight in your own heart. But you can't make them repair if, you, if they don't want to repair for whatever reason. And so I had to accept that. And in accepting the block to repair, which was out of my control, I couldn't make it give me an apple, as it were. In accepting that, I had to accept that the distance, the pain, uh, my own uh, s impact on this other person that was harmful, uh, the injustices that flowed both ways, all that <sighs> was just going to sit there. And I had to accept that. I had to accept how it felt for me. I had to accept how it felt for the other person. I had to accept my own responsibility. That's hard. I had to accept you know, the larger uh, bystanders around who had their own role in the whole family mess. And I had to accept in an ultimate kind of way the 10,000 causes upstream, the many, many causes that led to things being the way they were in which this other person and I were players but kind of bit players in a very large stage of factors. And in that acceptance, it was painful, including accepting the feelings in me that I'd pushed down or I'd kept at bay because I kept hoping, <coughs> hoping, hoping things would finally get better. You know, I worked my way through Elizabeth Kubler-Ross's right stages, five <laughs> stages of dying. You know, what is it? Disbelief, shock, or something, anger, bargaining, despair, and finally get to serenity. So acceptance took me through despair. <coughs> despair. And just kind of living with it. Um, and yet, on the other side of that, was tremendous relief and peace. You know, it's that fist, that open hand, holding on, holding on, holding on, and then finally letting it go. And interestingly, and I don't think coincidentally, as I moved into acceptance, no longer trying to solve it as a problem, just is what it is, I give up. I give up. When was the last time you said that? Not in a, in a peaceful way. <laughs> You know, like, I give up. But in a, in a heartfelt sense, there might be sadness in it, but there's something at peace about it, right? I give up. And as I gave up, and I truly gave up, I didn't give up as a strategy to get them to change, you know, that little tricky one. I truly gave up. As I did that, no coincidence, I think, conditions gradually got better and better and better with this person in my life. And so um, that's the second sort of teaching, if you will, on letting go, letting go in relationship, including accepting, and in particular, focusing on tending to the causes you can tend to without getting hooked on the results. <laughs>